Hi guys, uh, in this video it will help us to manage your container database and pluggable database part of your multi-tenant and architecture. We'll work on 19c uh, creating your container database and pluggable databases. We'll learn how to create container database, pluggable database using DBCA and SQL as well as command line. How to connect your containers, how to switch from one container to another container, from root container to pluggable container and pluggable container to root container as well as. How to list those containers and the status of your containers as well as. How to manage your container by unplugging your container, creating your container, how to drop your container. So let's go to lab session. Let's log in into the server. Now, using DBC database configuration assistant, we'll create a container database and pluggable database. This is my DNC database. 19.3.0 you can select your database operation where we have create database create database option Click on next. Enter your global database name prod dot global dot in. And the file system type slash ORA data, whatever the file system you have for data files to hold, you can verify from your mount point. I have slash ORA data, we will provide a slash ORA data. If not, it default it takes ORA base under the for a base location, rename it password sys123 sys123. So your sys password, you can give a complex password as well as now enter your create as container database, the pluggable database option. Suppose Paytm database. Paytm DB. You can give a naming convention with PDB as well as better to understand. Paytm PDB. So the broad database name is broad and pluggable database name we are going to have as Paytm DB. Going to validate uh, the storage. Going to locate the readlog files. You can see the number of steps here. Current step is number two out of five. Use local undo tablespace for PDBs, yes. 
the global settings has been configured with the SID name as broad and going to have create as container database. Yes, with the plug world database name as Paytm PDB. Memory configuration type automatic memory management and the template name the default it takes general purpose. You can see the number of processors and number of open cursors default has been set to. The file name is going to take with the OMF concept the default universal installer configure with the OMF concept Oracle managed files. Default we have two control files and three read log files. Finish. It's preparing the database operation, copying the data files. In case any errors, you can check the trace log here, DBCL block location. Under this log location, you can find out if any errors while installing. Use tail command to read the trace log file. So both the CDB and PDB database are getting created now. Shows that the database alert log location and the prod prod trace location. Even alert log got created. So done with the database creation complete. You can see what created. Close the window. Click on close. Let's log into database. Check the container name. The seed PDP dollar root and it has its container ID as well as show container ID will show you the container name. So we list the containers from V dollar containers from V dollar containers. We can find out your container ID, container name, PDP dollar root. PDB dollar seed and Paytm PDB. So it has its own container ID and DBU ID as well as DB ID, container U ID, GU ID. You can list the PDBs from V dollar PDBs and the PDB status. Select name open mode from V dollar PDBs. You can restore PDBs as well as. We have default uh, C template which is under read only mode. And the other pluggable database PTM PDB with read write mode. Which was, which was uh, created at the time of uh, creating your container database. And verify from V dollar database the status of your database as well as V dollar database open mode and the database ID, the database name. Want to connect to your specific pluggable database? We can connect using alter session. Set container equal to ATM PDP. You can verify using show container name and show container ID. Want to connect back to your container database? Then alter session. Set container equal to CDB dollar root. So now we have connected to root container database. We can verify using show container name.
so we can switch from one container to another container we can verify we can shut down a plug uh, pluggable database as well we can start it using alter pluggable database ktm pdb close immediately same like shutdown immediate we use alter pluggable database ptm pdb close immediate you can verify from v dollar pdb select name comma open underscore more from v dollar pdb you can bring back again your pluggable database using alter pluggable database ptm pdb open only in the maintenance case we will shut down your pluggable database a particular pluggable database can be shut down we can verify once again it's in read write mode The parameter db create file dash helps us where the data files are located. As we are using OMF concept or uh, Oracle managed file concept, we can set this parameter using alter system set to locate your data files. We have a mount point slash aura data. So in this location, your data files are going to get created. And the default location is this aura data. But commonly without OMF, we need to specify the location while creating table space or data files as well as. Now we'll see how to create your pluggable database from SQL level. Create pluggable database. Last time we had a Paytm PDB. Now we can create your another database like uh, PayBank or HR PDB. The admin user HR PDM the admin username as HR PDM. We are going to control your pluggable database HR PDB with the user HR PDM. Identified by with the password, set the password HR 123. And set the roles, the default roles to be granted as connect. Now HRPDB admin user with admin user HRPDM is getting created now. So now we have two pluggable database. One is HRPDB and Paytm PDBs. Got created we can verify from v dollar pdbs whether it's got started and number of pdbs we have in our database the one which was created now is under mounted state now we'll open in read write mode so for that to open alter your pluggable database hr PDB open so with one single license we are able to manage more than one pluggable database we can attach, we can detach, we can delete, we can clone the pluggable database, we can attach from another pluggable database, another container database, we can move from one container to another container as well as show PDBs, uh, we'll list all the PDBs as well as. Now we'll unplug your container database, which is your pluggable database, HRPDB.
from your container database alter your pluggable database we are going to unplug which are HRPDB using unplug option into we have the mount point or a backup or any of the fire location mount point you can use that location I have aura backup I am going to unplug into that particular partition aura backup HR PDB dot XML so into XML format I am going to unplug it we have error is not closed on all instances so first we need to close the hrpdb alter pluggable database hrpdb close then now we can run your unplug command So it's got unplugged. You can list your PDBs now. Show PDBs. You have just unplugged. The pluggable database is still present but you shouldn't open it until the metadata file and all the data files are copied somewhere safe. Once you copy it, you can choose to delete the files on your file system. You can now drop the pluggable database keeping those data files as well as. Drop your pluggable database. The chart PDB keep data files. We'll keep the data files and it will remove the pluggable database. You can verify from show PDBs. So it's done with unplugging your pluggable database as well so we have created pluggable database we have seen with command line we have seen with dbca how to connect how to switch from one container to another container how to shut down how to open how to verify list of pluggable databases how to unplug your database pluggable database so done with this session guys Thank you all.